Hi everyone! Welcome to a video review of the TCL U55X9006. This is TCL's new flagship TV launched at IFA 2017 and is also company's first QLED TV. This is a 55 inch version which goes for around 1200 euros, but 65 inch version is also available. This series is also known as XESSX2, so to avoid twisting my tongue for the rest of this video, I will just refer to the reviewed model as X2. Let's talk about design first. TCL went with premium 360 degrees design, meaning that care was taken not only on how TV looks from the front, but also from the back side. I'm sure you've already noticed silver stripe below the screen, with three circles on the left and three circles on the right. The stripe is made of brushed aluminum, which gives a premium feel and attractive light effects thanks to the cleverly implemented chamfer along the edge. Inside the circles are front-firing speakers in a three-way configuration. I'll talk more about sound a bit later. The rest of the front is all about semi-glossy screen and just a few millimeters thick bezels. A look from the side reveals very slim design in the top half an overall thickness that is less than 5 cm in the bottom. All connectors are in the lower half and can be hidden with supplied covers, one small for power cable and the big one for all other connectors. The big one has just basic cable guidance, there is no advanced cable management implemented here. All connectors look to the side and they include 3 HDMI's, 2 USBs, Ethernet, antenna and satellite inputs, toss link, headphone jack, and so on. The stand is very simple, just two L-shaped metal profiles that hold the TV firmly on the table. You can also mount it on the wall using standard Visa mounts. Supplied are two remote controls, standard and more advanced one, both of which work well with Android 6 TV platform. The advanced remote is compact and has a built-in microphone and a pointer similar to the one on LG's Magic Remote. You can learn more about user experience if you click on the info card or check the link listed below. Just like Samsung's or Hisense QLED TVs, TCL X2 is also using Quantum Dot technology that allows it to display a wide range of colors necessary for UHD HDR content. Still, as opposed to X1 which is now TCL's former flagship TV, X2 doesn't have a UHD premium certificate despite being able to display over 90% of DCI-P3 color space, having native UHD resolution, supporting HDR10, and so on. So what's the catch? Well, the reason why UHD Premium badge is missing is because X2 cannot go as bright as is required. Although I measured peak luminance of almost 670 nits, which is 20% above the value specified in the datasheet, this is far from UHD premium requirement of 1000 nits. X2 is based on VA LCD panel with ANSI contrast of around 4000 to 1. Even though local dimming is supported, due to LED placement in the bottom bezel, precision is not great and in reality will hardly see any benefit. Still, 4000 to 1 contrast is decent and it allows you to watch movies and other content with reasonably deep blacks. The thing I don't like is that when picture is dark, X2 will automatically dim the whole screen even further. This is what is known as global dimming. Unfortunately, I was not able to disable this feature, not even in PC mode, so in some scenes details are less visible. TV is based on 60Hz panel, meaning that motion resolution is not great and that it will get worse in dark scenes. Luckily. Traces behind objects are not very long, and since dirty screen effect is subtle, watching sports and other content was of good quality. Still, if you want sharper image in motion, consider a 120Hz TV. TV offers judder reduction for 24p content, so we can get movies to look like soap opera if you like. What I don't like is that judder reduction was working all the time even though I had it disabled in user menus. The only workaround was to manually move Jada Reduction slider one notch up and down for it to be disabled. And I had to repeat the procedure every time 24p content would appear on the screen. 
This is definitely a software bug that TCL should correct as soon as possible. My tests have shown good upscaling performance and effective noise reduction. It was interesting to find out that TV was not able to properly detect all tested cadences of interlaced signals. But in reality this was not causing issues while watching DVDs or other interlaced content. Coming back to HDR. X2 supports HDR10 and HLG formats. Thanks to wide range of colors and luminance which is above that of mainstream UHD HDR TVs, X2 did a decent job in displaying this type of content. HDR TVs that can go brighter than this and can display bigger volume of colors will be more impressive, but that also comes with higher price tag. Finally, as X2 is based on VA LCD panel, it is best to view it sitting directly from the front or from small angle. Sound quality is definitely above average in this price category. Mid-range and high frequencies are very nicely presented, rich in details and clear. Woofers cannot go really low, but there is some bass response to make music and movies sound decently good for TV speakers. For users who don't need surround sound or strong bass, these built-in speakers will be just fine. Input lag is higher than what competition is offering, so demanding gamers should look elsewhere. But for those who are not so competitive and just want to play something on the big screen, performance will be good. To sum it up, TCL X2 is an interesting TV in the price category of around 1200 euros. It's got premium design, good picture quality, above average sound quality, then Android TV platform, two remote controls and true quantum dot technology that shows its benefits with HDR content. With that being said, there are disadvantages such as implementation of a 60Hz panel, imperfections in software that hopefully will be addressed soon, lower peak luminance than that of competitors and high input lag in game mode. The main competitor to this TV as I see it is Sony XE9005. Compared to TCL X2, Sony has better motion resolution, smoother movie playback, higher peak luminance, better upscaling, lower input lag and more or less same color gamut, making it a more attractive choice. If however you like design and features of TCL X2 and you are not bothered with mentioned imperfections, then this TV will be a great choice. And this brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.